From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, welcome back to the Saturday News. Before we go on with our forecast, let me show you what's going on with Tropical Storm Humberto. It's over the Bahamas, just like Hurricane Dorian was. Good news is it's not nearly as powerful as Hurricane Dorian. The main threat, instead of tidal surges and the high winds, will be the rainfall and anywhere from 4 to 6 inches of rain as possible. But as we look at the track of Humberto over the next several days, the good news is it's projected to miss Florida and turn northeastward. It does become a hurricane, even a Category 2 storm, as it heads out into the open Atlantic. So it doesn't look like right now it's going to be any significant threat for the southeastern U.S., but we'll keep an eye on it. Sometimes those tracks change. Well, meanwhile, looking up toward McCall, as I showed you a moment ago, and we had some high clouds passing through, and this is the view looking down to the southwest on, from Mile High Marina, and you can see those high clouds passing overhead today. A beautiful day up in the mountain areas, mid-70s this afternoon, and even over in the Sun Valley area. Look at that gorgeous view from the top of Baldy, looking down into Ketchum and Sun Valley below. Great weekend to spend in the mountains. Sawtooth looking really nice there with a few high clouds passing overhead. Even up in the mid-70s around Stanley today after getting down to freezing this morning. And here in the Treasure Valley, mostly sunny skies, a few high clouds passing by, and it's hot. Summer-like, 90 degrees today. Uh, fall doesn't arrive until a week from uh, tomorrow or so, the 23rd, week from Monday. And so we are looking at summer-like conditions through this weekend. Little east breeze at 5 miles per hour and dry out there at 14% humidity. There's the high so far today, 90 compared to the normal of 80 degrees. The morning low, 55, a little bit warmer than the normal of 52. Nowhere near any records, fortunately, and no rainfall. 90 in Boise and Nampa, 89 in Caldwell, 89 in Ontario, and upper 80s in Mountain Home and in Magic Valley, and in the mid to upper 70s in the mountain areas. We have a low pressure trough up over the Gulf of Alaska, dropping down the coast, and ahead of it we have a high pressure system over us, giving us the warm, dry conditions. A little bit of a westerly flow today, but as that low pressure trough sags farther south toward the northwest, our flow is going to come more out of the southwest by tomorrow. That brings even warmer air up into Idaho, and then that low pressure trough crosses our region by late Monday and lingers over our area on through next week. So Futurecast is showing that clear skies will continue on through tonight and into tomorrow. Temperatures cooling down to the mid-70s later this evening, overnight to the low 60s in Boise, low 50s out in other parts of the valley. And then tomorrow, very warm everywhere, up in the low to mid-90s in the valleys and up into the 70s in the mountain areas. Some clouds do start rolling in, high clouds Sunday night and into Monday. And then on Monday afternoon and evening, we see a chance of showers with that system moving in. For the Magic Valley tonight, Mostly clear skies, mid-50s around Twin Falls and Jerome. 89 degrees on Sunday in Twin Falls. Very warm, mid to upper 80s throughout the Magic Valley. In the mountain areas, chilly tonight, 34 in Stanley, 43 in Sun Valley, but up in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. Haley at 81 degrees, Fairfield at 84. McCall, Donnelly and Cascade in the upper 70s to low 80s tomorrow, pushing 90 up around Council and Riggins tomorrow. And a warm day in the Treasure Valley tomorrow too after morning lows in the upper 50s, although cooling down a little bit more to the low 50s around Caldwell, but 95 in Emmett, 92 in Ontario, and 91 in Napa tomorrow. For Boise in the upper Treasure Valley, 59 degrees tonight, 94 tomorrow and mostly sunny sunny, then cooling off on Monday as that low pressure trough drops in with a chance of showers late in the day. A little bit breezy tomorrow afternoon and again Monday. We're down to the mid 70s Monday, low 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. Chance of showers eases up on Thursday and mid 60s by Friday, but looks dry next weekend. Don't go away. We've got more in the news at five right after this.